All right, everyone, Shane, the building biologist, here with another public service announcement for neighborhood-related EMF concerns. We're here on this uh, nice sunny day in Westland, Oregon, <coughs> working in a client's home to inspect the EMF environment and develop a remediation plan for them. And I detected some very high magnetic fields outside the home. This is interesting because, as you can see as I pan here, there are no overhead power lines in this neighborhood. All the power delivery is subterranean. And yet, as you can see on the Gauss meter, nearly four milligauss. And as we walk in front of the client's home, just along the street, you can see still above three, close to four. And actually I've, I've gone up and down the street on both sides and it's, it's definitely elevated. We're down to about two here, but this is still much higher than I would expect to see. I could walk down there and it would be elevated across the street and down, it could be elevated. So in the absence of power lines, we need to look at some other things. And one is the water piping, which might surprise you, but water pipes are metallic. And as part of the electrical code, they can have they can be a bonding point for your electrical ground in the home and they're shared between homes. So if we have some wiring issues in homes that can be shared amongst the neighborhood. So we've gone over here to the water meter to see is there current on the water pipe? And as you can see, we do not have any. So we're going to rule that out in our search. And the next thing uh, we're going to wonder what is running along the street here on this common space and we have broadband telephone and we also have see that light pole down there so there is power underground power running up and down this strip so just a couple of things food for thought to think about uh, if you detect a strange magnetic field that's elevated in front of your home or a home you're looking at purchasing and, and you're wondering where it's coming from and if you have any further questions, be sure to leave a comment, give us a subscribe, and we will connect with you on the next video.